subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From signs of water found in a faraway galaxy to how coral reefs on Earth may find it difficult to survive global warming. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifics. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifics, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. Around 12,000 years ago, a vast stretch of sand in the Atacama Desert in Chile was scorched with heat so intense that it turned into slabs of silicate glass. Now, a team from Brown University in the US has found that samples of the desert glass contains tiny fragments with minerals often found in rocks of extraterrestrial origin. Those minerals closely match the composition of material returned to Earth from a comet called Wild 2. The team thus concludes that those mineral assemblages are likely the remains of an extraterrestrial object. This is the first evidence of glasses on Earth that were created by the thermal radiation and winds from a fireball exploding just above the surface of the Earth. The glasses are concentrated in patches across the Atacama Desert. Fields of dark green and black glass occur within a corridor stretching about 75 kilometers. There's no evidence that the glasses could have been created by volcanic activity in that area. Meanwhile, this week, scientists who studied hundreds of white-tailed deer infected with coronavirus in the US have found that the animals got infected from humans and then rapidly spread the disease among one another. According to the study this week, up to 80% of the deer sampled from April 2020 through January 2021 in the state of Iowa in US were infected. Although the team is yet to find out how the deer contracted the virus from humans, the findings pose worrying implications for the pandemic. There is no evidence yet to suggest that the deer may have passed the virus back to humans. Widespread infection among other species would make eradicating the virus more difficult because this creates a possibility of other species becoming reservoirs for the virus. This would mean that, unknown to us, the coronavirus will continue to mutate in these animals and eventually spill back to humans. The study is yet to be peer-reviewed, but the researchers and wildlife officials in Iowa are alerting deer hunters and others who handle deer to take precautions to avoid transmission of the virus. Also this week, scientists have detected signs of water from the most massive galaxy in the early universe. Scientists using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array or ALMA were studying a galaxy known as SPT031158 found water and carbon monoxide molecules in the galaxy which is located nearly 12.88 billion light years from Earth. The galaxy is actually composed of two galaxies and was first seen by ALMA scientists in 2017. Scientists believe that the two galaxies may be merging and that their rapid star formation is not only using up their gas or star forming fuel, but that it may eventually evolve the pair into massive elliptical galaxies. Meanwhile, scientists have proposed a new theory based on data from gravitational waves, which suggests that as the universe expands, black holes gain mass. In 2015, the LIGO facility made the first ever detection of the gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time, a discovery that opened up a new avenue for research. The most common explanation for large masses of black holes is that they grow by swallowing up matter, including dust, gas, stars or other black holes. However, the researchers on the new study have now proposed that the masses of black holes could grow as the universe expands, an effect that the team is calling cosmological coupling. The team simulated millions of pairs of stars through their birth, life and death to form black holes and they also took into account the expanding universe. 
they found that the black hole pairs grew more massive over time. The predictions agree with data from the LIGO-Virgo collaboration, which collects gravitational wave data. Meanwhile, scientists warned that less than 2% of the coral reefs in Australia's iconic Great Barrier Reef have escaped bleaching since 1998, a finding that dispels the myth that corals could escape global heating long enough for it to recover. The world's largest coral reef system has suffered five mass bleaching events since 1998. Coral bleaching is caused by rising ocean temperatures, driven by burning of fossil fuel. Researchers from James Cook University found that only 1.7% of individual reefs had avoided bleaching. Almost all of the places that escaped damage were in an area known as the Swain Reefs in the southern section of the World Heritage listed marine park. Some reef experts hope cooler areas will act as refuges from bleaching, but according to this latest research, such areas too had experienced severe or moderate bleaching at least once. When corals sit in unusually warm water for too long, they separate from the algae that give them most of their food and their colour. In extreme cases, this bleaching can kill the coral. That's all for this week. I am Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.